all right guys so it is time for another collection video i just did my nails last night so i was like perfect time to do my blush collection so here's where i keep the main body of my blushes these are mostly high end i'll show you right here over here i just have a mixture of drugstore blushes but not everything could fit so like this is obviously not drugstore but we're gonna start off with my favorite drawer and then we'll get into the other two drawers if you would like me to do a rankings of my blush collection just like i did with my bronzer collection let me know if that's the case i would have to break it up between drugstore and high end just to make my life easier but let me know if that's something you're interested in but for now i just wanted to show you every single blush every single color in my collection so let's get started so we're gonna start off with the first row and i have mostly kylie cosmetic blushes i ordered a bundle about a year ago and i really like her blushes so this first one is batty on the block it's a really pretty kind of peachy pink shade the next color that i have is pink power this one's even more of like a blue toned kind of blush really pretty if you like pink of course the next one that we have is we're going shopping this one is a little bit more peachy very pretty close to perfect this one is a bit more of a neutral peach shade again really beautiful for every day the last kylie blush that i have is kitten baby this one's personally my most used i would say uh it's very very peachy which is strange because i love pinks but it's just so soft and natural i personally really really enjoy my kylie blushes they're very simple they're very matte but i enjoy the colors that she has a lot and i just think they're a nice solid blush formula. I also have some Dior blushes back here. So I love these. These are the Dior Backstage blushes. Rosy Glow is one of my all-time favorite blushes. It's pretty used. If you like a bright pink cheek, this is absolutely one of my favorites with a pink highlighter. And then they also have coral and if you like more of a coral shade this one is also very nice as you can see also very used by me i just love the formula of these so much and they're so cute and tiny i highly recommend these blushes we also have a couple of the cover fx monochromatic duos so this one is mojave mauve very pretty very pigmented i think these are really great for medium to deep skin tones this one is warm honey this one is my favorite kind of neutral blush again it is very very pigmented but this is a more neutral one so normally how I like to use these is I'll put this all over my cheek and if I want a little bit of glow I'll use this kind of as a blush topper and then the third one that I have is soft peach I think this one is my favorite of the three probably because it's the most skin tone appropriate for myself these are really beautiful blushes I highly recommend them they sold so well for a reason so I think you guys would like these if you haven't heard of these yet I have this Natasha Denona Bloom highlighting blush. Really love this. Only thing is, it is a bit deep for my skin tone, medium to deep skin tones, tan skin tones, all of that. This is lovely. I really like it. I have to use an extremely light hand, but I think the formula on this is beautiful and the finish is beautiful. This is her newest blush to her collection and it's very good and cute and I think it should be a bestseller. I also have a couple of Tarte blushes. These don't really interest me as much anymore, but I just keep them for nostalgia. But this one is Concept. This is kind of a neutral everyday color. Very, very pretty. And then the other one that I have is Party. And again, very, very neutral. These are nice colors and they're nice blushes. They stay on a long time, but I don't know. These are so old. Something about them is not as exciting to me anymore, but they are a solid formula. I have my single hourglass blush. I mostly have them in palettes, but I couldn't help but have this as a single blush. And this is Luminous Flush, and this is one of my all-time favorite blushes. Highly, highly recommend this one, if you like a natural pink flush, you will love this one. I have my Tom Ford Sheer Cheek Duo in Lavender Lear. This is not very lavendery, but it's like gorgeous peachy kind of color. I really love this. I love these tones that give the most glowing, healthy cheek look. I don't know if this is still available. I bought this at the cosmetic company store, but I absolutely love this blush duo. I also have a Patrick Ta blush, and I have the shade She's Sincere. I don't think these blushes are all that. I think they are a very solid formula, and he has a really great color line, but I wouldn't go out of my way to say that these blushes are amazing. There's a reason that I only have one, but his shades are very 
very nice. They just run a little bit sheer, if you ask me. I have a MAC blush in the shade Melba. This is kind of an old classic of MAC, and for good reason. It's kind of like a neutral, warm shade. It goes with almost every look. It was a bestseller for a long time, and for good reason. And I love this blush color. This got a lot of use from me. I know it doesn't look like a lot, but I promise you it was a lot. It's a great solid formula, kind of a classic, and for good reason. Another one of my favorites, you guys need to get hip to these Mamond blushes. I have mine in the shade number six. Yes, these smell beautiful. They do have a slight fragrance and the color and formulation is beautiful. It gives the most natural, sheer, glowy flush to the cheek. I absolutely love this blush so much. I highly, highly recommend that you look into these. I know you can purchase them off of Amazon. They are worth every penny. I love these. Another favorite of mine is from Sigma, and this is good old Cor de Rosa. I have it in a blush palette as well. This is one of my favorite kind of universal colors. It's a warm rose shade, and I just, I don't know, I just feel like I can wear it for so many different looks. This was in a yearly favorites, I believe, last year. It was one of my most used blushes because the formula is beautiful and the shade is beautiful. We also have the ABH Blush Trio, and this is in the shade Peachy Love. Um, I'll grab for this from time to time. It's very warm, orangey kind of blushes, so it looks very good if you have an orangey eye look. That's normally when I'll grab for this. Uh, this doesn't really stand out to me, though I do enjoy it. I'm not in love with it. It's the only only blush product I have from Anastasia so that's kind of why I keep it. I apologize for the yard work going on in the background. We also have this blush from Becca. I got this at a cosmetic company store a couple years ago. This is in the shade Camellia. It's a really pretty color. Honestly, I don't get too much use out of it, but it is a pretty glowy blush. It gives you quite a dramatic flush to the cheek. Really pretty for spring. I guess blushes are nice, but there's just so many blush formulas out there. I also have another shade of this, but somehow it ended up in one of my other drawers. But this is the MAC Glow Play blushes, which are really nice. I have mine in the shade No Shame here, and it looks intimidating, but I don't get a ton of color from these, so I really like this. It's like those putty formulas. It gives a really beautiful luminous glow to the cheek. Very natural. These are hyped up for a good reason. I really enjoy this. And this I never talked about, but I like this kind of in the background of my videos because I purchased this when it really wasn't available anymore. I got it at a cosmetic company store, but I love this blush duo, you guys. This is in the shade I'm Not Blushing. It was from the Patrick Star collection for the spring a couple years ago, and it's so beautiful, you guys. This is one of my favorite favorite blushes and it has one of the best formulas you guys it has a pretty glow to the cheek very peachy the bronzer is okay but what I really love is this blush I haven't used it recently it's been a while since I've used it but I really love this but I just don't talk about it on camera because it's limited edition and then I have this pretty vulgar blush in the shade hush blush I believe I got this in a boxy charm before I canceled my boxy charm and it's a pretty color it's not my favorite formula I think it's a little bit too pigmented and kind of hard to blend out, but it's a pretty neutral kind of shade. Honestly, I feel like I could declutter this just because it's not a favorite of mine. This is another one that I kind of need to declutter, but I can't. This is the NARS Orgasm Illuminating Loose Powder. This is not for my skin tone. I don't know why I purchased this. I lusted after this for a long time because it's basically the orgasm color in a loose powder with a lot more shininess to it. So it's like too shiny to be a blush, but too dark to to be a highlighter. I've kept it because I think I can make this into a blush topper, but I haven't used it as a blush topper yet. So this is one that really does need to be decluttered, but my heart can't do it. I need to pull this aside and use this as a blush topper. Ooh, this is another really great formula. This is from Suwasu, and this is the shade number one, Pink Harmony. I love this blush, you guys. It is so gorgeous, first of all. You get that luxe experience from this, and again, pink. If you like a pink cheek, this is beautiful. Pink is my favorite color for blush. Beautiful formula, blends with ease. It's just an overall luxury experience. Highly recommend you look into these blushes. They're incredible. And then back here, I have my Charlotte Tilbury blushes, which I showed you recently in my Charlotte Tilbury video. So this first one that we have is Pillow Talk. 
this is kind of a really nice more neutral shade as you can see pretty well loved by me i like that you can actually use the center as a highlighter this one is love glow it's a very nice color for fair skin tones i like it when i want a really natural light pinky peachy kind of blush. It's a great everyday blush. Love is the drug is great if you have a medium skin tone and you like a bit of a brighter pink flush. I usually kind of stick to the outside and then I'll do just a tap into the hot pink because it can be a bit overwhelming but it is stunning. And then the last one that we have here from Charlotte Tilbury and in this drawer is Sex on Fire. Again, if you're not a big blush person, you would really like this color because it's not like a flushy blush kind of color but it does add color to your face so that you can add that extra dimension. Really pretty for neutral blush lovers. So we have completed what was in this drawer. By the way, if you're curious, the drawer is from the container store and then I bought these inserts also from the container store. I just feel like it displays the blushes so much prettier. So I have two of these drawers from the container store. They're really not organized in any way or fashion. They're just two separate drawers of random blushes. The first one that I have to show you is from Ome. This is a really good drugstore store blush. It's very underrated. This is the Healthy Hue blush. It's in the nearly nude shade. A really beautiful kind of nude cheek shade if you are into that. And it has a really pretty natural glow to the cheek. Very, very good. I actually used this yesterday. I really love this blush. I have a couple of Flower Beauty blushes. The drugstore has some really great blushes, you guys, that are so comparable or even better than high-end. So this one is Peach Primrose if you're into a peachy blush. And these are gorgeous. Like, if this didn't have the plastic packaging, it would be so luxe. Like, the product itself is very luxe though. This one is Warm Hibiscus. This one has like a golden sheen to it so if you like shades like that you'll really like this one. This one's not my favorite. I think I prefer the matte ones but this one is very pretty. Then we have Wild Rose. Kind of a brighter pink. I was kind of intimidated by this color at first but I actually really enjoy just softly putting this on the cheek. I also have a few Milani blushes. These types of blushes are very popular and for good reason. I enjoy them a lot. So this one is Barry Amore. This one is not my favorite of their blushes, honestly, but it is pretty. It has a sheen to it, but again, not the one I would probably go for first from this line. Of course, we have good old Luminoso. This is beautiful. This is totally worth the hype if you ask me. I absolutely love it. It has a gold sheen running through it. It's so shimmery and pretty. Oh, just a beautiful blush overall. And then finally, we have Bella Bellini. Again, the gold cast on this is very, very strong. If you don't like it, that, you probably won't love this blush, but it is really, really pretty. Milani does a beautiful job with their blushes. I also have this one from Milani. This is a different formula. This is the Romantic Rose Blush. This one is not a baked formula. I got a really neutral kind of rose color. Great for every day. A very beautiful. Milani is like the luxe of the drugstore, if you ask me, and I really enjoy their blush. Blushes. I also have a couple blushes from Essence. They're very, very affordable and they're really, really good, honestly, for what they are. So these are the Satin Touch blushes. The first one that I have is Satin Coral. This is a beautiful formula. I haven't used this in a while though. I do need to pull them out. And then the other one that I have is Satin Love. This one's my favorite. It's a little bit more neutrally if you lean towards those kind of browny, warm kind of shades. Really, really like this one. I have this one from e.l.f. This is newish for me. Um, It's a newer pickup. I don't even know the shade because this is missing. I think it's like wine something like that with wine or roses in it. But it's a beautiful everyday color, a very nice formula. You could put this in some high-end packaging and I wouldn't argue that, that that it felt like drugstore. This is a very high-end feeling blush. Lastly, for this drawer, I have two Wet n Wild Color Icon blushes. I used to be obsessed with these back in the day. I just couldn't believe they were so affordable. This is Apricot in the middle, not my favorite. I think this one has too strong of a golden sheen to it, a little bit of a glitter if you ask me. But it is very, very pretty if you like these types of shades. And then my personal favorite of the two is Mellow Wine. I just much prefer this color. It's a beautiful formula. You wouldn't know this is like $3. Super good.
kind of another random drawer of random blushes, but let's get into it. Like, we have this Ofra, it just didn't fit into my high-end drawer. This is the collaboration with Samantha March, the blush duo in Chiclet. I love this blush. If you watch my review on it, you know I think this is such a pretty color. I love adding in a mix of that for some depth to the cheek and some glow. Very pretty, highly recommend this blush. This is my favorite thing that came out of Samantha March's collection. I have a few of these ColourPop blushes that came out with their peach collection and these are gorgeous you guys i had to pick them up those first one is a perk up it's a little bit more of a neutral peach color if you're into that kind of some bronzing properties here really like that one we have fresh and peachy this one is a little bit brighter really enjoy this one a lot because i love a bright cheek and then the last one is frisky business which is much more of a coral toned kind of peach i don't know if you can still get these blushes but if you can they are wonderful i highly recommend if you are able when i went to the Europe this summer. I picked up a couple of these bourgeois blushes. These I believe are just a really popular brand in Europe. So I really like these honestly. I think they're very pretty. They aren't super special but I enjoy them. So this one is number one. I got this in Spain so this one has a Spanish name. I'm not even gonna try. Look how pretty this is and it adds a very pretty glow to the skin. I do really enjoy this one a lot. And then kind of my more neutral wearable version of this this one is rose blossom and oh you guys these are so pretty they aren't super luxe quality but i wore these to work for a long time every day because i just thought the finish on the cheek was so pretty i also have a few of the burt's bees blushes kathleen lights made me buy it <laughs> and they're beautiful the one kathleen lights was obsessed with was toasted cinnamon this one's not my favorite i've tried time and time again to make it work for me but honestly it's too like brown and dirty and warm on my skin tone i'm not a fan of it on me i do love the other two so shy pink i'm a huge pink girl when it comes to blush i love shy pink beautiful formula from burt's bees any color that you get so beautiful and then the other one this one is bear peach if you like a more peachy direction this one is equally as gorgeous and these are just a beautiful formula you guys you wouldn't even be able to tell these were from the drugstore i did just recently pick up a new shade because they had three shades for the longest time and then i saw this one and i just love the formula so much this is velvet wine well i haven't even used it if you can see this is more geared for medium to deep skin tones so just know if you have a deeper skin tone this is available if you would like to try formula i haven't tried it on myself yet i don't know why about it it's not made for my skin tone Tone, but I just love the formula so much. I got this in a boxy charm and I absolutely love this blush. This is from the brand Note and the shade is Desert Rose. It's a beautiful formula, you guys. I believe you can get these from Ulta and they actually sold out because people love these blushes so much. Packaging's nothing special, very cheap feeling, but the product itself, really good blush. As you can see, I just love every single blush in my collection. And then the last blush that I have for you guys, this is the other MAC blush that somehow ended up in here. And this one is in the shade Grand. It's a little bit more wearable. I do have to build this product up, but again, for every day, it's very natural. It's going to be a beautiful formula for summer. I think you guys will like it a lot. All right, you guys, there you have it. That is my blush collection, just my individual blushes. If you'd like to see more blushes, I do have a face palette collection video and you'll see all of my blush palettes in there. So these are just my individual babies. Blush is one of my favorite things to put on my face and one of my favorite parts of makeup. So I deeply love my blush collection. Let me know if you would like me to break my collection up between high end and drugstore and I will totally rank them if you're interested. But other than that, yeah, here's every single color of my blush collection. I hope you guys guys enjoyed it thank you so much for watching yet another collection video i am moving into highlighters next so i will see you guys in the next one if you aren't subscribed to my channel already i hope you take the time to do so and yeah bye guys have a good one